Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending this online board meeting, and I hope everyone is in good condition today. As the representative of my company, it's such an honor for me to share my knowledge in front of these great leaders from all over the world. First of all, I'd like to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Angelique Nitsa, a human resource manager of Disney Media and Entertainment Distribution, Jakarta. For the next four until five minutes, we are going to discuss the topic, difficulty in earning trust and establishing relationships. This presentation is divided into three main parts, such as why earning trust and establishing relationships are difficult, why high trust relationship is important, and how to build trust and maintain good relationships. Without any further ado, let's begin. We all know that trust is hard to get and easy to lose. In business terms, we are required to establish a healthy interaction, which the members must shoulder to shoulder to reach the goals. However, everyone has different personal traits and points of view. Regarding this, the first point is why earning trust and establishing relationships are difficult. The answer is fear of risk. I believe that most of us have ever put expectations towards someone but are afraid to experience the risk that might arise. Either we feel uneasy around them or there will be a conflict due to different visions and missions. The other example is the one-side advantages that are possible to happen. Many opportunistic people are self-centered and being exploitative. They take the opportunity of situations to gain money or power without caring whether it is fair. However, a healthy relationship must be balanced and beneficial to all parties. This leads me to my next point, which is why a high trust relationship is important. The first and foremost point is to build psychological safety. The team members become comfortable to speak up, ask questions, and make decisions without being afraid it would harm the relationships. Second, encourage innovations and rapid decision making. In line with the previous point, when people feel safe to open up, they can express their ideas and new solutions. There won't be second guessing with one another because they know there's positive intent behind it. Also, the task can be done faster without relying on one or two members only. Third, improve engagement and productivity since the employees invest more in their work and build a strong collaboration. Regarding Edelman Trust Barometer 2021, business is the most trusted institution compared to those three sectors in 18 countries. In Indonesia, 92% of the employees trust their employer. So what can you conclude from this data? Let's move on to the last part. How to build trust and maintain good relationships? T for transparency. Start with being open and honest. Give contrastic criticism and positive feedbacks so people will understand your expectation, then increase their words. R for respect. This allows everyone to feel safe, to open up about their feeling and their ideas more often since members will listen to you sincerely. U for unity, don't tolerate gossip since it can kill Tim's morale. Instead, do the projects together by developing trust and completing each other. S for showing your care, being a good listener and giving them a hand means that we truly value them. The last D is for trust building activities to build morale. Doing icebreakers and 360 degree feedbacks can be a positive and enlightening experience. To sum up, building trust and establishing relationships in business have positive impacts on psychological terms and increase productivity. By uniting our team with being transparent, respectful, and showing them that you care, a high trust environment can be created. Well, that's all from me. If there's any question, you can kindly ask me now and I'll do my best to answer your curiosity. Thank you for your attention.